What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday, kind of a slower day at the shop. Had some work, but mostly just been uh, doing the spring cleaning around here at the shop. Got to keep the, keep the upkeep and keep the place clean. But I've been working uh, this flip series for us. Obviously, uh, still worrying about the Equinox, talking to her. She said she's going to probably make it by this weekend or early next week. But I got my hands on a real nice one that I need your guys' input on. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. So you guys know that, you know, I, I hate seeing nice cars end up in the junkyard. Um, you know, I, I, I like to save them. You know, if there's anything left of these cars, I definitely like to save them. I like to pick these cars up. You know, the cars I buy or find, you know, I get on a really good deal because most of the ones I find or get, you know, they need a motor, they need a trans, they need a bunch of work that, you know, the last customer couldn't afford to do or didn't want to do or just wanted to trade up. But... The guy, the, one of my connections, great friend of mine that brings me cars, um, turned me on to this 2005 Lincoln Aviator. Obviously, with the, uh, it's got the, you know, the the Ford 4.6 in it, um, but with the newer style heads. This thing's got bad timing, so it's uh, down the same path as the Equinox. Except this one's obviously a rough one to do. Um, you know, I wouldn't mess around. It's got like 139,000 miles on it. I wouldn't mess around trying to rebuild it because I really don't know what's wrong with it. And, you know, rebuilding a 4.6 would cost way more than just finding a used motor. You know, that's what I would probably, that's my thoughts on it. I mean, you guys, like I said, I'm making this video for good content on the channel, seeing what you guys think of it. This job's gonna be a uh, body off the frame. That's how I pull these motors. I gotta, I gotta pull the body off the frame to get this motor out of there. But I'm thinking, uh, I can't see this one getting crushed. I can't see this one going to the junkyard, getting stripped down. But we're going to head on outside. We'll run through it and see what you guys think. Check it out. So, here it is, guys. This thing's definitely pretty clean looking. I mean, looking at the tires, brakes, I haven't got it in the shop yet. Um, but, I mean, for 300 bucks. You know, it's uh, definitely nice. I mean, this one is super clean. It's got all the bells and whistles on it. John, if you're watching this, thanks, man. We're going to ask the subs what we should do with it. But you got the leather interior, the running boards. Um, definitely shows, this thing definitely shows a little bit of mileage, obviously, with the worn-out steering wheel, the worn-out, uh, uh, you know, floor mat. But... I mean, this thing is nice. Maybe we make this thing next in the flip series. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided what we're going to do. It's got this sunroof. Real nice. They haven't even really fully went through this one yet. Passenger seat looks pretty good. Floor looks pretty good. Carpet over there. We got... What was the mileage on this? We got 134 on the mileage. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oil change required. 134, 695. But this one's definitely, uh, I think, definitely worth putting a little bit of time into it. Looks like it's got premium sound in it. It's got uh, six seat six, and my my wife might even want this. It's got the DVD entertainment in the rear. A little spot for DVDs up there. It's got the center console back here with the cup holders. Got the rear heat and air. But I'm digging it. Back seats look like they've never been sat in. Back here really doesn't either. But that's it, guys. It's kind of chilly outside today, but... We'll get inside, wrap this one up. So I'm calling out your guys' advice. I, I uh, like I said, for 300 bucks for the vehicle, I mean, I priced out a few used motors. You know, no matter how we look at it, there's still gonna be some meat left on the bone, but this one is a big job. I mean, it calls for like 17 hours, 
but I figure, hey, makes her some great content. You know, you guys out there can kind of do a couple clips here and there. You know, what I do to pull these forwards off the frames. Most of these forwards are set up, you know, plug in, everything unplugs pretty much. There's a few little things. I got to worry about the rusty body bolts and all that stuff, but as long as all that comes undone, you know, you could probably turn it into maybe a six or seven hour job, you know, depending on how it goes and all that stuff. We got to worry about the transmission. I don't know if the transmission's any good. Um, but hey, if I could score a motor for, you know, under two grand, 1500 bucks with low, low mileage, this one might be next, fellas. So I'm asking you guys, leave me your input down below. What do you guys think? Like I said, I think it'd make for some great content, but I'm leaving it up to you guys, the subs. So like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.